Alright guys, welcome back. So, I was going to... Ooh, oh, I pressed F8 on accident. Whee! Okay, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> uh, I have decided that uh, before we go adventuring into a deep ravine and everything, we probably need to get some supplies ready first. And... It, these tables are just weirding me out. I don't know why. Um, so, I've taken the liberty of making us some tools and stuff that we will need to build something that we can use to gather or er, prepare for long trips into the... You know what? I'm just going to say it. We're making a wheat farm. <laughs> um, I don't know why I was trying to be all cryptic about it, because it's cooler that way or something. I don't know. I did gather some wood between last episode and this episode as well. Um, which I spent most of turning these, or er, into, uh, I spent most of that making these, um, fence, fences, fences, is this big enough? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, 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 yeah, that should be good. Um, fortunately it's night time, <laughs> so let's, uh, run back in and get some, get some nice sleep, because we haven't gotten much of that lately in this nice man's home. I just realized it's not very light in here. Let's light it up a little bit. That's better. Okay. I don't really want things spawning in my house, because... Uh, I was really lucky that I didn't run in here one time when it was dark and have a mob inside. Just like fighting Mr. Scientist here. Doctor. Doctor Octopus Man. <laughs> That's what he looks like, but I don't think we can call him that. That might be copyright infringement. Um, so, I'll, I'll try to think of a name for him. Or you could suggest a name if you want to, but... <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway, this will be the center of the farm. Oop, oop, there we go. Now let's go one, two, three, four. That's where the end of the wheat will be, which means that this is where the fences need to go. And then we have uh, one, two, three, four. So that's where the end of the wheat will be. Okay, we should only need 64 fences if I've done the calculations properly. Oh, really? Why would I possibly want to put you on a grass block? Get back here. Okay, yeah, that should be lined up with that. Yep. And Stop it! <sighs> okay, you know what? Since we aren't using the seeds yet, I'll just put them away. And that's where I'm going to want my um, fence gate to be, so... Four, five... <laughs> Guys. Guys. I'm gonna start screaming. Okay. That wasn't nearly 64. I must have done something wrong. <laughs> or I just miscalculated. Okay, that goes four. One, two, three, four. Yep. One, two, three, four. Yep. One, two, three, four. Okay. I don't know why, but, uh,. That's that's the right size. So I don't I don't know how I miscalculated so badly because I was thinking two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I miscalculated. Nine times four. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I guess it would have taken sixty-four to fill in the entire area because I'm stupid with math. Um. Which is weird because I'm usually really good at math. But anyway. Let's uh, till all this soil. I wasn't sure if one uh, hoe would do it. But it seems to be working just fine. So that's cool. Um, oh, and some news. It's easier to make pumpkin and melon farms now. Like automatic ones. Because... Um, and this isn't going to be permanent, which is why I didn't want to dig anything out. I just wanted a, a place to grow wheat. And I found that one this size is generally enough to um, 
to sustain me. So I will hopefully not need more um, wheat than I'm growing now. I mean, I will need to wait for some of this wheat to grow before I can actually go adventuring, which is unfortunate. But, um... Because, obviously, I still can't go down there with no food. <clears throat> I'll try to grab some of those pigs, too, actually. And, oh boy, I totally forgot to check what time it was when I started recording. Um, let's see, well, I ended the last one, then it might take me two... So I'll say we've been... Re that can't be right. Um... <laughs> I'll go for another three minutes, and that'll be that'll be it for this episode. So where was I going? I can just put this down here. I need a fence gate. Can't have, or the fence is kind of pointless if you don't have a gate because you're either going to need to break in every time, which isn't quite so fun, or um. You're going to have to leave it open, which doesn't quite make, make much sense. So, And I like how they fixed it so that the, the fence gate thing is now nicely lined up with the rest of it. So you can actually walk up against the fence like this without... Because um, before, it took up a whole block, so you might as well have just gone like this, and you'd, you'd walk into it. So all it really did was toggle whether or not a block was there, and then it had a nice little animation. But now it actually works. And um, I am putting fences around it, because I, I st mobs won't trample the crops by walking, but they will trample it by jumping, which uh, really causes problems for me. <clears throat> so let's see if we can't get one of those pigs back here, or some of the pigs. Actually, you know what, let's just kill some of these white sheep. Because there are far too many of them here. Wow, one hit. Did I hit him before? Or are sheep's just one-hit kills with crits? Looks like they're just one-hit kills with crits. Nope, guess not. Or they are. I can't really tell, guys. I'm so confused right now. Seems like it is. Maybe I just didn't crit on that one over there. Maybe he just had far more health than the other ones did. Oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab this pig before he gets too far away. There we go. Follow me, buddy. I have candy. Oh, okay. I thought a, a mob just died in that water, but it was um it was just the particles from it splashing around. Oh, oh, and we've grabbed one of the oh, we grabbed two of the orange sheep. Well, there's only two of them, so we grabbed all of the orange sheep. Which I didn't really need. I just wanted the pig. Yeah, running into the guy that's trying to kill you, probably not the best idea, but... Oh well. I really, I just want the pig. Well, actually, the pig should stay here now. So, like, he shouldn't wander away too far. But then again, that sheep did come all the way from over there. That one right there. The yellow one. So, I don't know. But, um, it is time for me to go. So, chicken? No. No chicken. Um, man, I need to find some melon seeds or something. <laughs> something that I can grow quickly, you know, because melons grow all over the place. I did grab a bunch of leaves. I don't really know why, I just thought I'd do them. I put those leaf blocks at the end there, just to see if there was, um, see if they would disappear. But they haven't so far, because there's no actual wood near them, so I wasn't sure if it would, you know, keep them or not. But they seem to be staying just fine, so that's good to know. Alright, so, yep, this is the end of this episode. Um, I'll try to gr uh, farm some wheat before next episode, so we can actually go adventuring then. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.